Assalamu alaikum. My name is Delia Mugahid, and I am the Director of Research at the Institute for Social Policy and Understanding. Um, I'm so glad to be able to share this with you and join you uh, virtually. Uh, thank you for having me. Um, the Institute for Social Policy and Understanding does research on the American Muslim community and, and the issues that impact the community disproportionately. And this study is really special to us, really important. We did it we, in partnership with MSA West on the challenges and opportunities of Muslim college students, specifically in the West Coast. I'm really excited to be able to share with you some of the most um, salient outcomes of that research. So I'm just going to share my screen. Okay, wonderful. Like I said, this is the outcome of a survey that was conducted in January of this year at an MSA West um, conference took, that took place in Irvine, California. So this was among the, the conference participants and it was uh, administered to more than 500 students at this conference. So the summary of the highlights that I'm gonna share with you, the too long didn't read are this. There were, there were both assets and challenges uh, that this community faced. One, uh, let's start with the assets, a very strong Muslim faith identity. Uh, people were proud to be Muslim and they also looked to their family and friends for a, as a source of support and for education on their faith. The challenges facing these community was uh, first that their American identity really lagged very, very uh, significantly behind their Muslim identity. And there were some very uh, specific additional challenges among economically disadvantaged youth, as well as social justice advocates. So let's start with the assets that we found in this work. The first one is the strong Muslim identity. So um, the question was, I see my faith identity as an asset in my life, and a full 75% of the students um, answered strongly agree for this. And, and so this is an asset that can be leveraged to help um, address some of the challenges. Now, when you look at um, strong Muslim identity, you have uh, Muslim, um, the MSA West students, 81% said that they, uh, they believe that um, their being Muslim was important to who, how they think of themselves. That compares to only 22% who said the same about their American identity. Now, that's quite different from Muslims nationally, um, where 70% say that being Muslim is important to them, and 58% say their American identity is also important. Uh, so there was a distinct um, characteristic among West Coast college students that looked different from the national scene regarding American identity. Women relied on their parents um, and their family to answer their faith questions. So another uh, key asset was the role of family as a, uh, as a, a source of support and a source of education. Um, men also relied on their family. Um, about a quarter of them went to their family first for questions on their faith, uh, but they were also just as likely to go to a local imam or to the internet, whereas women, by and large, their first, uh, their first source was their family. Uh, so again, another asset is, is, the, the, is the role of family in many of these students' lives. But on the, on the flip side, women were less confident in their local mosque. So whereas um, they were more likely to go to their family for, for questions and, and men were equally likely to go to the local mosque, one reason for that is, is because women lag behind men in just simply their confidence and, pro, and, and likely also their, a, their access to um, religious scholarship in their local mosque. 
Now, we found that economically disadvantaged youth specifically had some unique challenges. Uh, first, they were much more likely than um, people of, of other uh, more um, economically more advantaged young people to have um, endured a sexual assault, um, sexual contact without consent. So they were at a much higher risk for this than, um, than other groups. Poor students were also much more likely to suffer severe mental health concerns, including even suicidality, uh, where a quarter, a full quarter of poor students uh, reported um, actually having tried to end their life. The other thing that um, students with less money suffer from is the lack of um, mentorship, a lack of access to mentorship, especially Muslim professional mentorship in the fields, in their fields of, um, of interest. Now, not only did, uh, did we find that economically disadvantaged youth had these unique challenges, but also among students that were interested in social justice activism, they were also almost as likely as poor students to have suffered severe mental health challenges, including a high, higher percentage of, of them um, reporting having um, done something to, uh, to end their life or attempted to, to end their life. A, a very, very serious consequence of mental health challenges. So what are our recommendations um, from the research? First is the issue of um, resource development within the MSA leadership. So to help increase this, uh, you know, address this challenge of a lack of mentorship, we recommend that MSA alumni uh, be engaged to increase professional mentorship. We could also um, have a buddy program where um, we can support economically disadvantaged students. MSA town hall discussions on gender-based discrimination, especially in Muslim spaces. Closer relationships between male and female chaplains um, and the students where uh, anonymous Q&A can, can be a part of that relationship to help increase access to scholarship for both men and women. And then to leverage high Muslim student civic engagement rates to partner with political advocacy groups on and off campus. Recommendations for MSA leadership in terms of addressing discrimination and identity issues for Muslims. Develop an internal MSA assessment to identify member challenges and needs. So figure out what your own MSA um, uh, population is dealing with, which may be different than, than the study that we conducted. And then to also strengthen relationships with administrators as allies to ensure that the reporting um, on discrimination is being taken seriously and is being acted on. Now, in terms of um, professional uh, prospects and mental health and behavior issues, uh, to proactively raise awareness around mental health challenges, especially among vulnerable populations such as social justice advocates and economically disadvantaged youth. And then to develop a short list of accessible Muslim counselors that MSA members are aware of, and to form coalitions with other historically disadvantaged youth on campus so that we, um, as Muslims, can learn from other groups. And that is it for our presentation. Uh, thank you for listening and I'll just stop sharing. Um, thank you for listening, and uh, I hope that this was useful to your discussion.